how far back does this tradition go? Hundreds and hundreds of years. I mean, the Vikings used to ferment meat. It's just an ancient way of preserving meat. Well before other modern ways of preserving meat, exactly. there was this. There's a place in Europe you've probably never heard of. What kind of weather are you looking for? The perfect thing would be no wind, but that's impossible. A collection of islands about halfway between Scotland and Iceland. What are you doing now? You're reaching inside its body? Um, are you skinning it just with your hands? Yes. Holy cow. Surrounded by Atlantic waters, a nation of about 50,000 with one of the world's most unique diets. If you serve this to somebody at an Applebee's in the USA, there would be a lawsuit. Okay. I'm talking about the Faroe Islands. Being so isolated with two, 300 miles of sea to the next neighbor, you don't get that much input of what's happening in the world. But now with internet and all that technology. Now you can see what's happening in other countries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now you realize other countries have sunlight. Exactly. The Faroe Islands are not a country, but a self-governing nation under the sovereignty of Denmark. I will give you $100 to eat this raw. <laughs> no. 110. Maybe a little bit. Its 18 islands are best known for their bird cliffs and unspoiled landscapes. We're moving up in... Oh my god! And their position at the crossroads of the warm Gulf Stream and the cold Arctic currents create a continuous flow, making the Faroese marine ecosystem one of the cleanest on the planet for seafood to thrive. Sometimes he's putting the lobsters on the piece of wood. What is the purpose of that? It's the minimum. And so if it's too short, you have to throw it back in? Oh, I see. So we'll see that one tomorrow, huh? <laughs> In this series, we'll be taking on unique animal proteins from the water, from the land, and from the air. In the sea, fishermen trap the most commonly eaten lobster in Europe, the delicate and sweet langoustine. The brain, would you eat that raw? Oh, of course. Let's see it. Let's do it. In these same waters, seafood divers risk their lives plunging into the icy Atlantic how much? to catch valuable crustaceans by hand. Yes! Victory! Do you see how many that was? That was like... <laughs> he fell off. Sorry, it's not funny. The water pushed him over. I'm sorry, it's hilarious. On the land, you'll find more sheep than people. I heard on these islands there are two sheep for every person. When it's time for the slaughter, locals age their meat in fermentation sheds until it rots. For us, it smells like Christmas. It's a way to preserve the meat that comes with a powerful stench few outsiders can handle. It's crisped up, it's fatty and juicy. Everything looks great about it, except when you take a whiff, that is intense. Two of them straight ahead. Oh, it's so far. In the air, you'll find a range of prized bird species hunters track down by boat. Oh! Like this, the puffin, renowned for its deep, dark red breast meat. Interesting, because it's really dark meat. It looks like a beef patty. But perhaps the most controversial food you'll find on these islands. Some years ago, myself and my wife was participating. We were helping with the grid. Yeah. How much did you get on that day? 300 kilo, boneless, pure meat. Wow. This is from the... The pilot whale. Whale meat. A subject so polarizing, few will even speak about it on camera. I noticed one thing, you don't have whale on the menu. Yeah, well, one second. Just because uh, we want to focus on bacalao and we're a fish restaurant. I came to the Faroe Islands to learn how the whale hunts work. Right now we're on the bay. It could happen in a place just like this, right? Yeah. And to learn why today, amid protests and international condemnation, this custom still continues. An experience like no other, unreplicable. Cannot replace that with something else. You could only take it away. You're brave enough to try it alone? Yeah. Why did she say brave? Why did she say that? For hundreds of years, the unique geography and weather of the Faroe Islands have produced one of the most unique diets you'll find anywhere in the world. You're going to see it all in 24 hours. Dolphin. Yes. Welcome. I thought whale would be the most controversial thing I ate, but apparently not.